Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's August 18th, 2023. Today we've got a little bit of belated shenanigans. I never got to post anything on International Trading Card Day, so we're going to go back in time a little bit and open up a couple of the free packs from International Trading Card Day uh, and the packs I bought at the LCS in order to get the freebies. Uh, we have Roberto Clemente in the dugout today, the great Roberto Clemente. At the end of the episode, we will send it down onto the field, take a close look at both of those Robertos, talk about why he's in the dugout today, as well as looking at some hopeful highlight pulls. Uh, okay, so International Trading Card Day is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, all you got to do is go to your LC LCS, you spend 10 bucks, you get some free packs, you get a couple freebie cards. The crazy thing is it has really come a long way since they first started doing it. When they first were doing it, for two years in a row, I was able to get a whole box of the packs for like 50 bucks. And you, they'd come with two autos, and I would build out the set, and I would do giveaways with the set. Uh, they came with the freebie cards like these, and I would give those away. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, I looked into it again this year, and now the International Trading Card Day factory sealed boxes are going from anywhere between $250 and $350. They are bigger now. They've got baseball, Formula One, Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, and the Garbage Pail Kids might be the thing that is jumping out at me the most that's really bonkers. Because I was looking at some of the stuff, and last year, uh, right, yeah, 2022, I went and I got my, you know, my, my goodies, and I got one of the uh, Garbage Pail Kids packs, and it had Adam Bomb on the front, and I have now seen an unopened pack with this, or just this card alone, so an unopened pack. Uh, going for like 40 bucks, 45 bucks with this card on top, and then just this card loose for like 20 to 25 dollars. Can someone explain to me why that is? Is this perhaps the first card? Uh, are we just back in a big heyday of garbage pail kids, which I think is cool? Uh, but yeah, I'm just like, wow, I can't believe maybe of all the cards available, it's this Atom Bomb or the garbage pail kids in general that are selling or reselling for a good amount of money uh so i went on the first day now usually it's two days i think they sort of let august 12th not be as prevalent because uh, i went on the first day uh picked up a free pack for paul ray a couple for myself spent a little money they gave me both of the freebies which is mike trout adley rushman this year uh before we get into the opening i want to say i still have a lot of cards from the packs and the freebies so if you're a collector out there that missed international baseball card day a couple years ago or the last few years comment below uh and let me know if you're interested in just a couple freebie cards uh there's things like trout and and uh, otani uh pete alonzo on and on I, I have quite a few bryce harper um, and I'd love to share a little bit with any collector out there who might be interested in, uh, in those. Okay, so the plan now is, we're, we, so we got two hobby packs, a series two, a Bowman, and a Garbage Pail Kids Chrome. And I'm going to split these, and we're going to put hobby packs on the top and the bottom. We're going to start with a baseball in the middle. We'll do a Garbage Pail Kids and end with a baseball. Let's start with the, uh, the Wander pack. I'm still waiting to hear more on the Wander situation. We're not going to talk too much about it. It's crazy. It's crazy stuff. Now, you know, there are loose reports he'll never be back in Major League Baseball. People say the guy who reported that is full of it. Uh, who knows? Really, what I'm looking for is Volpe. He does have a rookie card in this set. Uh, it, the reason I was looking at uh, unopened boxes is the baseball card set is actually really good this year and all the autos are strong there really aren't any dud autos all right so we got wander oh coming out of the gate i didn't even introduce the captain or rub the coin the captain number two lego cheetah number two so that is a double out of the gate and a coup, a coup. let's get lucky lucky all right off and running I just sort of wanted to do an episode real quick with the this stuff that I left behind. So, very pleased. We simply got skunked so hard out of Topps Chrome uh, on the Volpe. At least we got one of those. Shea Langoliers. 
and ripped. I've looked into this. This is just sort of a little bit about the hobby. Uh, I was watching on MLB Network Carded, and they had Lauren Taylor on there, which was pretty cool. They covered the National. They covered um, the trade night of the National, and they wound up talking to a guy who I was talking to at my hotel who had picked up a mantle. I thought that was kind of funny. All right, hobby pack action. Maybe we'll get lucky. Something sweet out of the hobby pack. They didn't have any chrome hobby in the loose packs. Nothing, nothing thick or shiny. Uh, so I just kind of went with what I could get. Other stuff was not of interest to me. Football, that kind of thing. J.D. Davis. Woo, look at Lance Lynn's beard. Jack. Oh, Jewish team. So I would love the Yankees to trade for him. I mean, their season's over. Should have gone, got Jock Peterson or Cody Bellinger. Rafael Ortega, okay. Carrie Carpenter. Brendan Donovan. Fordo. Oh, it's the Volpe Show. Like it. Anthony, meet Tony. Tony, meet Anthony. Or Anthony. That gets Jeter to third. They're just base. That's why he's not scoring yet. Uh, you know, I had a few people comment in the Chrome break that they thought the Otani we pulled, because it's a potential buyback card, uh, was worth a scoring opportunity for Jeter. But it's just the base. So that's why he didn't score for me. Uh, all right, let's check out the Bowman. So that is my, I want to say, third Volpe flagship base rookie card. And this one looks like the other ones I pulled, which is really off-centered. I'm definitely a little bit bummed. I've seen and, and uh, people have reached out to me. I know that there are, you know, blasters of top scrum that are just fire, and we did not get any of those in our little rip. All right, Corbin Carroll, though, rookie of the year. Christopher Morrell, big ups, walking it off for the Cubbies the other night. Like I said, in that Chrome break, we did get a Christopher Morrell insert. Um, having a really strong second half, so... A guy you want to keep an eye on. Let's see a Suzuki. You're done. Michael Garcia. Walner. Justin Fuscue. Hey, Fuscue. Fuscue, man. What'd you say? Fuscue, man. Michael Luciano. Henry Davis, number one overall pick. Jesus Baez and Braylon Bishop. All right, nothing, uh, nothing crazy out of there. A couple nice paper rookie cards. I, it's weird to me that the Bowman rookie cards really are nothing. Like no one really pursues the any player's like base Bowman rookie card. But hey, what are you gonna do? We all want that first Bowman. All right, so I'm excited. And the Garbage Pail Kids autos are actually artist autos. There's been plenty of those. And, of course, Formula One um, is really growing in the card hobby. Uh, it's pretty interesting to me. I don't know a lot about Formula Formula One other than that Vegas has a huge Formula One race coming. Uh, and Lewis Hamilton is the man. Uh, but the silver, they had silver packs at the National Formula One, and they were gone quick. That was the silver pack that was like, we are out of these, which was interesting. All right, Batty Caddy. Jolted Joel. Spacey Stacy. She's scary. All right, a throwback to the original. Brainless. R-E-B-N-B. -E <laughs> oh, Garbage Pail Kids. They were fun when I was growing up. That's why I'm excited, actually, to rip into this, because in Chrome, uh, that's just pretty cool. Uh, they're not stickers, I don't think. But, uh... I do enjoy the artwork. I think they're fun. I, I, I like that they've kept with the original artwork. I'm sure they're different artists now, but they haven't really deviated from what the Garbage Pail Kids look like. Uh, and every time I look at uh, uh, Raffi um, on the Red Sox, I always think he looks like a Garbage Pail Kid. All right, Pin Paul. Pin Penny. <laughs> Ouch, that looks painful. Earl painting. <laughs> Gory Rory. They do look really cool. It does say you can peel in the top corner. I 
I think they are actually. I can kind of, yeah, I think they these are stickers. I, I don't think they're around the edge. I think it's the whole thing comes off. But looks pretty cool. They're fun. If they weren't so much, I probably would get a few more packs. But I think because they're chrome, they run a little bit hot. All right. Get a little uh, more baseball action. I'm pretty sh so when I was ripping these, I would go live and rip the whole box. And it was, uh, you know, it was fun, but it would get hot. It took like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, hot under the lights here in Shenanigans Card Park. And you could usually feel when the auto was in there because they're sticker autos. So I could feel the packs. And I know we didn't get any sticker autos. Rumble Mookie. Having a great season again. Scherzer. B Harp. Oh, the Volpe Show. Okie Volpe. How about that? Making up for the Chrome Break. That's going to score the captain, even though they're just base. Three Volpes in one day. Like that. All right. Let's get some last pack mojo. How about a home run here, Jeets? Just for for fun to close it out. Nice, A nice big hit. That would be incredible. We haven't had a hit in a little while. All right. Darth Vader. Jordan Diaz. Put it up on the scoreboard. Louis Liberato. Kyle Tucker, if there weren't guys like Otani and some of these other guys, he'd probably be having an MVP caliber season. Very, very strong player. Michael Taylor. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda's cousin, Jose. Not a joke or exaggeration. Really, they are related. Wilson Contreras. One more B. Harp action. All right, Nico Horner having a solid season and been really, really good like the last couple weeks. Carlos Santana and Detroit Tigers should have picked a different pack. Not a great one, but the captain did score. We got three Volpes. Got to open a little International Trading Card Day uh, action. That was pretty fun. Uh, so I dig it. Good times. Let's send it down onto the field. Take a close look at those Robertos and maybe a few highlights. The legendary Roberto Clemente in the dugout today because it is his birthday today, August 18th. Happy birthday, Roberto Clemente, an all-time great ball player, all-time great humanitarian. Here we have one of my favorites, like the Frank Thomas I picked up. It is the manufactured relic out of Topps Flagship Blasters, uh, my favorite manufactured relic they've ever made up to date, the Rookie Card Medallion logo reprints. This one picked up at a card show in a bin for $2. Let's flip it around. As you can see, number 101 of 199, so numbered for $2. I remember when I picked this up, it was at a front row card show, I believe, back when they were free, and the guy just had a whole box of relics, and he's like, I just bought an entire collection from somebody. I haven't even looked through them other than to see if there were auto relics in there, so everything else is two bucks, have at it. And I picked up uh, quite a few relics out of there, some great ones like Miguel Cabrera, other really, really cool ones. Uh, I was just feasting on that. Dude also had a bunch of junk wax. Uh, so that was a really good one. He's never been back to a card show since. Uh, but couldn't pass it up. One of my favorite Clemente cards in my collection because I'll probably never own a real Roberto Clemente rookie card. And then we got a recent pull here, the Legends of the Game, uh, at a flagship. Really, really nice foil card right there. Uh, an image that Topps uses a lot. A classic image reuse image right there from Topps. Uh, so there you go. Happy birthday, Roberto Clemente. Let's slide it over and look at a few highlights. It was without a doubt the Volpe show today. Three Anthony Volpe rookie cards pulled. Uh, pretty shocking to me considering we got skunked so hard out of the Chrome boxes. Nothing really to write home about uh, in the packs we picked up at the LCS, but uh, lately those have been the rips or the breaks here in Shenanigans Card Park. Hopefully things will turn around for us in upcoming breaks. But I was pleased to get those three Volpes. Got a nice Adley Rushman rookie card here. And just a fun Garbage Bale Kid card from International Trading Card Day. Uh, I look forward to it again next year. I'm going to keep an eye on the boxes. See if maybe we get lucky and snag one for a steal if the prices really, really come down. Because they're still out there on eBay. So I'll keep an eye on that. But please leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's shenanigans. Always looking forward to reading your comments. 
Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.